Hello and welcome back to the channel. In one of my recent videos, I talked about an ice maker from a company called New Air. Apparently they liked that video because right after that, they offered to send out a mini fridge, specifically a beer froster. And here I have it. Oh. Kidding, bad joke again, sorry. You probably already saw it, it's, it's over there. Box is empty, box is actually pretty light. But this is the box for it. It is a 46 can beer froster. Here's all the features as you can see them, probably can't hear me very well. Chills to a frosty 23 degrees, but that 23 degrees, I think it goes up to 72 degrees on the high end so you can keep things at a room temperature if you wanted them there as well. It's got two glass shelves built into it, it's very compact, and it has a digital display on the front with a lock. Let's just walk through the unboxing process, if you will. Came in that box, which I now chucked over that way, surrounded by foam and whatnot, with a sticker on it that was a little bit difficult to remove, but it did not leave any residue on the door, so I'm good with that. Inside of the fridge, like I said, there are two glass shelves. Those are movable. You can move them up and down. Remove them entirely if you want. In the manual, if you'd like to see a little bit about it, I've got an image I can show you on the screen here. It says that it will hold up to 46 cans and uses 180 watts of power, 1.34 cubic feet, and this one says the temperature range is 23 to 64. Yeah, just double check. It goes from 23 at the very low end all the way up to 72 at the high end. It's a refrigerator, it's not a heater, so it's basically just going to allow things to warm up until they get to that temperature of 72 if you put it that high. I generally keep it around 31 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm sorry I don't have all the calculations on hand for that. I probably should, but I will put them on the screen so you can see them. So the low end to the high end and what I normally keep it at. I keep it at 31 Fahrenheit to 34 Fahrenheit, kind of depending on how chilly I would like my drinks and how often I would like it to run. Currently, as you can see, it is here in my room, in the office, in the room that I film in, because it does not run 100% of the time, and it's not terribly loud. In my last video that I actually made, I was able to hear it in the background, but just ever so slightly, so I will probably be moving it into one of the other closets here in the room, just so that I don't have to worry about that excess sound, even that tiny little bit. But let's just get right into it. How does it work? Does it keep things cool or cold? How much does it hold and whatnot? So, I've been using this thing for a couple of weeks now, probably two to three weeks, keeping it on average at 31 degrees. And while I don't have one of those nice infrared thermometers to test it all with, our refrigerator on the main floor of the house keeps things at around 37 degrees, and this does keep them significantly colder than that. I pulled a beverage out the other day and opened it, and it actually had some ice chunks in it, very small slushy ice bits, which was just awesome. I do keep some bottled water in there as well, and I did not notice the bottled water freezing. That might just do with different temperatures within the small area of the fridge, but it keeps it as cold as I like it, and then some, because it can go like eight to 10 degrees colder than I normally would keep it. The other thing to sort of address here is the can capacity. It says it will hold 46 cans. Presumably they mean 12 ounce traditional cans. And I will say, I've tested that and I've actually gotten it to hold more than that. If you take the shelves out and you do some sort of creative stacking, you're able to stack cans five wide and up to three tall without the glass shelves. So just in the area where the glass shelves would be, I was able to fit 45 cans and then there is a plastic shelf along the top and do another 14 cans, I think. So five and then four and then five. So you're talking like 59 cans there when it says it will hold 46. That's over delivering in my opinion. Opinion. In case you are curious about the shelves, I went ahead and pulled one of them out. They are glass shelves. They do fog up if you take them out and they measure in at about 13 and three quarters by five and three quarters. And there are two of these, but they can be removed. They can be moved into different positions. There are a total of seven slots that those can be used in. So you can just sort of make it however you want it to look or take them out entirely, as I said earlier. For me, like I said, this is considered a beer froster. It says it on the front of the manual and everything. I'm not really a beer drinker, so that's not for me. However, soda, water, things like that. I definitely keep it loaded up with that because I use this room as my home office, my personal office. So it does make it very nice when I'm in the middle of a meeting or when I'm working on something really heads down, need to pay attention to what's going on. If I need a drink of something, I can just very quickly step over to the fridge or once I move it out of the room because you can probably hear in the background, it did kick on. So let's just be quiet for a second if I can do that. So you can probably hear that that little bzzz in the background. It's not super loud. And if you're in here and you're in a meeting or something, you'll probably not even notice it. But for me, my ear is very sensitive, so I can hear it. So when I'm editing, I will definitely notice it. So I will be moving this into a closet, not a big deal. Double checking the price on it, it is $399.99 on their website, which might sound a little bit high for a mini fridge because realistically you can go out to the store and pick up any number of mini fridges for like $100 or less. This one has a lot more control to it. You can 
can, like I said, it's got a digital display. You can go in one degree increments up and down. You can lock the panel to keep anybody from changing it. And in theory, it's supposed to last a whole lot longer than one of those super cheap fridges you just pick up at Walmart. And just double checking on the back of here, it mentions this appliance is covered by a limited manufacturer warranty from one year of the original date of purchase. Manufacturer will repair or replace any parts of this appliance that prove to be defective. And I'll say it, in the past, I've used other mini refrigerators and I've seen them die in less than a year. So if this one does, you do have a warranty from the manufacturer. And I think that's where I'll wrap it up. So far, for me, keeps things nice and cold, as cold as I want them to be, and then some, has plenty of space for more than the number of drinks I would go through in an average week, and it's stainless steel, although they do have a black option available, so I like the aesthetic. The one complaint I sort of had about it, the digital controls on the front, the up and down buttons, they are one at a time, so you have to really beep, 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 beep. So if you wanted to go from 23 to 72, that's gonna be a lot of button presses. That's like 50 button presses. And I've done that a few times now. So if I had one bit of advice to give them, it would be press and hold in order to go up or down, but realistically, how often are you gonna be changing that many degrees? More likely than not, you're gonna say, I really want this, instead of 34, I want it to be 31, or 29, or whatever. Or instead of 30, I want it to be 35, it's too cold. And that is as simple as just push the button a few times and you're there. So it definitely ticks the boxes for me, and I'll put a link to where you can find it down in the video description if you are interested. Thanks so much to New Air for reaching out, for offering to send this out to me, thanks so much. I'm not gonna say no to a free refrigerator to sit in my basement and make my office a little bit nicer. Thanks Thanks to you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up down below the video. I definitely appreciate it. If you're not subscribed already and you would like to be, I've checked the analytics and it, it's kind of sad. It's like 98% of the views that I get are from people that are not subscribed. It doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe. It just lets you get notified whenever I do put out new videos. And that is kind of, let's just say it, inconsistent. I would like for it to be less inconsistent, but it's not at the moment. So if you'd like to get notified when new videos come out, hit the subscribe button down there and ring the little notification bell next to it so you actually get a message or an email or whatever whenever I do put out a new video and I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks guys for watching.